Well, what we are breaking right now is Bofors petitioner receives a death threat. Petitioner Ajay Agarwal has alleged that he has been receiving a death threat call and he has also lodged a police complaint as well. Remember, he's been a lawyer and he has been at this case for a very, very long time. He's spoken to Republic TV also when Republic broke that uh, exclusive uh, Beaufort's which uh, exposed how some of the ministers and UPA, particularly during the one decade of their rule, uh, actually tried to scuttle influence and compromise as far as the Beaufort's investigations are considered. Well, Ajay Agarwal has now alleged that he has received death calls and uh, Niranjan is uh, joining me on phone line on this one. Niranjan, what more details do we have? And uh, what more is Ajay Agarwal talking about the death calls that he's, the death threats that he's receiving? Well, uh, Republic TV has uh, received a copy of this letter. And I can tell you that uh, we haven't, we are still going through the entire letter. But uh, what I can tell you is that Ajay Agarwal, someone who's been uh, pursuing the story since the early 2000s, uh, we'll try and get him on the phone line as well. And I can tell you that he has written to the Nizamuddin police station. This letter was dated the 13th of October, that's yesterday. He wrote to the police and he's, uh, in his complaint letter said that in the afternoon at around 1 p.m. on, uh, on a Friday, uh, he was in the basement office of his residence, that's F1 Jangpura extension in New Delhi, okay. uh, with one of his friends. He says that uh, he was in a hurry to leave and he was about to catch a flight when one of his staff members came to him, handed over an envelope that he received from the postman. I think we all also have... Uh, yeah, we have Ajay second. Agarwal, in fact, joining us on phone line. Mr. Agarwal, many thanks. Well, Niranjan was just going through that exclusive letter that he has with him. Give us more details. Tell us everything, what you know about it and what's the follow-up of your case with the police? In fact, yesterday, I received this letter Ordinary post, in fact, when I was sitting in my office, the postman came in and handed over this letter to me. When I opened this letter, there was no, in fact, on the envelope, there was no sender's name. Okay. And now I opened this envelope, there was a very serious life-threatening that have been issued in that letter. And the language used is very filthy and abusive. Okay. We can't repeat here. And the last they have said that they will kill you. Okay. If you will not stop uh, speaking. And uh, though at, at the cost of giving our own life, the mm. meaning is it, is, it is written in Hindi, in fact. Mm. In the last day, I have said that if you camera, police, or Supreme Court, you will be able to get the money. If you have to get the money, you will be able to get the money. You will be able to get the money. In fact, it is related to the Beaufort case. And it is written in that if you pursue this case anymore, uh, you will be killed. And the language of the and tone of in that letter is very abusive, and not only to me, but my political leaders also of the BJP. And in fact, this case, my Beaufort case, is coming on 30th of October, this month only, and it will reach to logical conclusion, because the Supreme Court had ordered on 1st of September to hear the matter finally, in the week commencing 30th October. So, in the last week of October on the, or on the first week of November, we would reach, the Supreme Court would have reached on some conclusion in this case. Because this case is coming after two years, and the Supreme Court on my early hearing application had specifically directed okay. that Mr. matter be finally heard Mr. Agarwal, in the week commencing 30th October. Mr. Agarwal, so this type of serious life that is coming at the, at the yeah, Mr. Mr. Agarwal, Mr. Agarwal, just a short, want to come in here with a short question to you. Uh, you have been pursuing this story and we know that the case is coming up uh, in court towards the end of this month. And to, for all our viewers who are watching this, Ajay Agarwal is someone who's been uh, pursuing the story for several years now, for close to a decade. Uh, Mr. Agarwal, can you tell us the contents of this letter vis-a-vis -vis Bofors? Have mm. you been warned? Have you been asked to stop pursuing it? And you also mentioned a threat to your party. Can you be more specific, sir? Well, in fact, they have said, in the last, they have, they have taken the name of Mrs. Sonia Gandhi also. They are naming Sonia Gandhi? Yeah, yeah. They have said that uh, you have taken her name also. They have said, said in this letter. And they have, on, on very filthy and abusive language, used to the top leaders 
of the BJP also and the RSS also. And uh, apart from that, they have used very filthy and abusive language towards me also. And uh, and very serious life threat they have issued in that letter, in fact. It is in Hindi, in fact. And the words can't be repeated uh, yeah. in one phone. So, no, no, no. You, you mentioned uh, the name of uh, Ms. Sonia Gandhi there. You want to be more specific, sir? Uh, in fact, uh, uh, like one word I am I'm just reading. Hmm. So, like Sonia Madam ko jail bejna chaapta hai. Tum sab harap chatti walo ko hum jante hai. This type of language they have used in fact. And uh, the language which is used further can't be repeated in fact. Mm -hmm. So, it's a very serious. I have sent this letter yesterday only along with uh, my forwarding letter to the concerned police station that is Nizamuddin police station. But so far, I have come to know they have not lodged the FIR. They have received the complaint and the complaint number has been given, but they have not lodged the FIR so far. Will you stop pursuing this case now or uh, are you uh, determined to uh, you know, pursue it uh, till its uh, logical conclusion? No, 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 no. I will definitely pursue. I will take it to the logical conclusion because I have been pursuing this case for the last 12 years. So there is no question about that. But the no. only thing is that the police should uh, investigate immediately and should uh, apprehend the culprits whoever they may be. But I just want to ask you one question, Mr. Agarwal. Uh, what is coming up in court? And we've been tracking the story very carefully. I, I know that the Supreme Court has looking, is looking at it and the possibility of reopening this case all over again. CBI has been part of the proceedings. Uh, we have a copy of your police complaint. We also have a copy of that uh, life-threatening letter, the death threat that you received. What is happening in court that has got these people rattled now? How close are we in the case? In fact, in, fact, uh, <clears throat> in Supreme Court, when the matter will come up, definitely the case is going to be reopened because the High Court ordered which I have challenged, which CBI is supposed to be ch challenged, but they didn't challenge because of the UPA government pressure. So that is going to be set aside. And the High Court order is going to be set aside because that judgment is beyond jurisdiction. That is, that is judgment what they will deliver on a recall application or a clarification application, which is totally illegal. The judge cannot recall its own order. He has no power to do it. But he has done it. The High Court judge. So it is going to be in any way quashed. And once it is quashed, the case is opened. Then the trial is revised. And the trial will commence. And the entire thing the CBI has itself said that we are ready to reopen the case. And I have also repeatedly said I will lodge a complaint before the ED also. And written a letter to the CBI also that the case should be looked into by the Gandhi angle mm. okay, because the Kotrochi factor is there and Kotrochi was brought in by the Beaufort's company to mediate the entire thing at a, at a fair end when the deal is going to be commenced in the deal in 1986. They found, Beaufort's found that the deal is going in favor of Sofma guns because Sofma guns are much better guns. So they have brought in Mr. Ottavio Kotroti, who was the main middleman of the Gandhis that time, well known in every circle. And he got it done. And instead of Sokma, government preferred to purchase Bofors in fact. So this is the entire case. If the case is reopened and uh, it is investigated properly, definitely the things would indicate the involvement of Gandhis in the entire scam. So that is why this matter, Hinduja matter, right. was buried by the UPO government to save Gandhis in fact. Yes, that's to right. To save Kotrochi, right. to save Gandhi. That was the thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Having said that, that Ajay Agarwal, yes, having said that Ajay Agarwal ji, is this for the first time that you've received uh, a letter, threat letter of, or uh, any nature of threat of this sort? 
or there have been yeah. some instances in the past where some ministers tried to influence you or get in touch with you during UPA regime directly or indirectly to stop you to hold actually in fact earlier also hmm. in fact, earlier also some letters were received some years back but that is related to some other cases and that the tenor and tone of the letter is not so serious not so abusive that i have received this time some years back i received some letters and uh, they were related to sometimes park corridor sometimes there was some people were writing on behalf of miss mayawati okay and uh, one or two letters in 2010 there was a attack also on me in muradabad okay it was a uh, on my there was a gun was a shot was fired at me but i have a potential escape at that time god has escaped me it is in 2010 in fact but this letter is very very abusive and language is okay. very filthy and the tone and terror of the letter is very serious right. it is very serious life set so it has been issued through hmm. this letter so 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 sir having said that do you think this time around this is little different more serious in nature the threat perception is little greater here when it comes to this anonymous letter that you received because i remember you spoke to us also exclusively when we broke one of the bofo story you said at then law minister he tried to get in touch with you to influence you to make it sure that you stop the pursuance of the case yes i can name the person also i can name the person also go ahead sir minister. please everybody go ahead knows. sir everybody knows the law minister of that time mm -hmm. and he tried to influence from many sources in saying somebody to me also mm. and i refused to succumb yes i said you can manage the judiciary but you can't manage me okay. i said you are the law minister of the country you go and manage the judiciary but nobody can manage me all right yeah all right so i pursued the case on my own hmm. from the very beginning all right all right and all right. Uh, tried very hard to get some result hmm. and now at the end of the day hmm. we will be getting some relief from the court because court is agreed to right, get sir. the matter finally hmm. so uh this time this letter has been received republic is tv is later. following this story very very closely Ajay Agarwal, main petitioner, many thanks for talking to us exclusively and uh, we will of course uh, track it with you further as well. Meanwhile, thank you very much for talking to Republic. Well, here